Honest Dog with the vlog coming to you guys with a brand new sneaker unboxing. Today is a new review of some Air Max 90s. If you're looking at the box, then you probably know this is the infrared colorway. Crazy story. These dropped while I was at work. Um, I was trying to get them. It's like 9 in the morning. Hold on. I was at work when they dropped, and I was like trying to get them on my phone, like at work, and I kind of got in trouble because I was you know, on my phone at work. and you know, trying to get them, and I waited, I kept waiting in line, I waited in line for like 30 minutes, ended up missing them, and I was like, well, I guess that's the end of it, and I was bummed, but I was like, you know what, it happens, they'll come back around, um, and then I was at the mall, like maybe two days later, and I saw them sitting on the shelf, gotta grab them, this is in my top five favorite shoes of all time, this one falls at number four, so it's really dope to have this in my collection, we're just gonna jump right into it, let's just open it up. You know, I've seen these before. I've worn these, I think, twice before doing this review. So, um, but like I said, I've been wearing them a lot. Let's just, here we go. The Air Max 90 in that infrared colorway. Let's just start by saying this shoe is so OG. Like, this colorway is just such an OG colorway, such an OG look, OG style, OG everything. everything. This is the OG Air Max 90. Um, you know, designed by Tinker Hatfield. Just one of those shoes that is timeless that you can kind of wear forever. We'll just get right into the bottom. As you can see, you've got black with the infrared. I have worn mine. As I said, I wore like a bonfire, so the bottoms are dirtier and shit. Um, but coming up, you have this white midsole with this infrared and a white air unit. I love the thickness of the air unit on the Air Max 90. Like, there's just so much cushion. It's so plush back here. So that white and infrared comes around to the lateral side. Also, you also have black leather coming up, wrapping around the shoe. Once again, um, let me see if I can block this sun out a little bit. With an Air Max hit in infrared right here, the leather is um, decent quality. You know, it's nothing like, this leather is so nice, but it's it's whatever. Then you also have suede around the toe cap that kind of comes up. This is a gray suede. Comes up all around this with a darker gray suede on the Nike swoosh. I can't even tell if you guys can, oh shit. You guys can see, but, um, and then white mesh right around here. It's the white mesh on the toe box and then white laces, white neoprene tongue with that Air Max Nike um, in infrared and then you have infrared right here, black up here right by the laces. The inside says, I don't know if you guys can see it, says Nike Air in black with that infrared and of course my personal favorite part of the shoe right here the infrared patch with Nike Air. You know, when you got Nike Air on the back of a shoe, I don't care if the shoe came out in 2013, if it came out in 2014, 2015, if you went forward in time and brought it back from 2017, this means your shoe is OG as hell. So, um, but anyway, that really basically is the shoe. Um, in terms of quality, I think that it's, mine doesn't really have any huge problems. You know, I have no, like, big complaints. You got a little bit of paint messing up down here on the bottom but for 120 I think Nike raised the price like 10 bucks because you know fuck everybody um, but so I mean for me I'm not really seeing any huge problems the comforts there the styles there you know people are gonna you know notice this shoe and I've worn them people are like ooh, nice shoes nice shoes what are those what are those so this is definitely a shoe that catches people's eye and that's why I like it you know and just because the classicness and I'm really super just blessed and lucky and happy to have these in my collection because how I got them, you know, really is one of those things like where it just happened. It's one of those rare moments in you know, like sneakers where you just stumble onto things and that's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and get you guys some close up shots. Um, take a look at some close up shots and take a look at them on feet and then come back and we'll talk about sizing and the usual shit that we talk about. So I'll talk to you guys right after that.
hard Think I black that and I swear to God If I catch a motherfucker right off his job Then I go to a safe and take off that nerve You know what this is Only liquor in the fridge And the credit is a calling And these lights are on the fridge And our neighbors don't say shit They just look the other way Yeah, this place a fucking mess But you can see it in my face that I got That about sums up the review. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Also, before I forget, there are a couple things that I wanted to um, touch on. One is the hang tag, the little Nike Air. It's like the plastic, the see-through one. I really like these. You know, they kind of throw them with a lot of the OG models. So I thought this was a really good touch, keeping with that OG theme. Um, also, I'll read what it says right here. Um, I'll show the hang tag and like the close-up shots. So, but. Right here it says, Nike sh sports shoes are manufactured with the exact specifications of champion athletes throughout the world. Continued research and constant development are responsible for the athletes of the 70s changing of Nike. And I just think that's a really nice, like, little OG, like, oh, a little touch right there. Like, just a, I don't know, I've been using the word OG a lot, but that's really the only way I can describe this shoe is, like, OG is classic. Um, in terms of sizing, go true to size or half size up. True to size is going to fit you, I mean, pretty much perfect. Um... But half size up gives you a little bit of room. Um, I had to go half size up, unfortunately, because they didn't have my size, and the 11s fit better than the 10s. But the little room isn't bad at all. I mean, like I said, you can go true size. I'd recommend going true size or half size up, depending on how you like your shoes. It's up to you, not up to me. But um, I will talk to you guys super soon. Like I said, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. This means a lot. Go check out my vlogs. Go check out my discussion videos go check out lots of stuff I'm gonna try and do uh, maybe a video in the next week or two just kind of about some essential summer shoes that I like to wear and so maybe because you know summer's rolling around so I know you guys are gonna need your summer shoe fix but it's dog with the vlog I'll talk to you guys super super soon mm -hmm.